In this presentation, we will set up a Sage Business Cloud Accounting free trial. We'll go through the process of purchasing a free trial for Sage Business Cloud Accounting. As we do so, we'll also take a look at some of the other products and services that are available by Sage. Let's get down to business with Sage Business Cloud Accounting. Here we are on the Sage homepage, can be found at sage.com. There's a forward slash en dash us. So that's sage.com forward slash en dash us. Of course, you can search it on your favorite browser for Sage, S A G E accounting, Sage accounting, so that you don't get like the spice of Sage or the, or the herb of Sage. We want the Sage accounting. We'll take you here to sage.com. Before we sign up for the free trial, just want to take a look at the products so we have an idea of the suite of products that are offered by Sage and so we have an idea of the product that we are getting into so we don't get confused on the different types of products. There is a suite of products that are offered by Sage. We're going to be concentrating over here in the accounting and finance information. Within accounting and finance, we have these two main categories. That's going to be the Sage 50 cloud and the accounting. If you've been around accounting for a while and different types of accounting software, you may be familiar with a, with a software called Peachtree. Peachtree basically got converted over to the Sage here. So if you think about the trajectory of the Sage software, you can kind of compare and contrast the two between Sage and the QuickBooks software. And it might be useful to kind of make that comparison. Both those softwares were here before we had basically the cloud-based type of items. So then we had the QuickBooks was in essence just the desktop version at that point in time. And then you had the peach tree, which basically converted into the Sage uh, 50 here was the desktop version. The conventional thought at that point in time was that QuickBooks was much uh, very integrated into the small business category and that the peach tree was kind of like a step up. Uh, if you needed more more services within the accounting system, the peach tree would generally be more focused towards the mid to larger type of companies. That's still basically the, uh, the case here, although those two categories have kind of integrated in different ways as well as things have changed and, and grown. So if you do the current comparison then between QuickBooks or Intuit and Sage, you have a similar kind of comparison in which you have like kind of a desktop version. If you think about QuickBooks, you've got a desktop version and then you've got the online version. Now QuickBooks is really focusing in on the online and basically the integrations on the online and the desktop is still moving forward and still doing quite well as well, but it kind of feels like their main focus is gonna be on uh, QuickBooks online. If you think about the Sage then, uh, they have both a similar kind of setup. We have the accounting here, it has the online stuff, but the feel of it is that they're more focused actually on kind of like the desktop version, the Sage 50, because it has more integrations. And of course the Sage 50 is gonna be uh, promoted as be having the best of both worlds, basically an online kind of functionality as well as, or a cloud accounting types of uh, functionality, being able to get access uh, through, the, through the internet as well as some of the advantages of uh, the desktop version. It's like backing up and, and that kind of stuff as well. So that's kind of the difference in, in the trajectories between the two. Note that it still has a feeling that if you're able to say, you know, you have some experience with Sage, that usually carries a little bit more weight to it because most people that, that deal with Sage, if they've been working in Sage, are thinking of, you know, the reason people have Sage is because it's going to be in an industry that's, that's larger possibly and has more specialized needs, such as needs for inventory or job costing or accounting and integrating different type of locations uh, into the accounting system. And so therefore it could be useful just to have some uh, experience with Sage because to a lot of people, uh, if you hear the word Sage as versus QuickBooks, just in terms of like a resume type of format, uh, it might be something that uh, carries, you know, carries a different kind of weight. Now that that may be that may be fair or not fair because again QuickBooks is kind of going into the to the mid-sized market as well and doing doing quite well there. So as things integrate and as we th as we see what happens with the cloud accounting versus the desktop and the different types of integrations, you know, we'll see we'll see what happens. But note that Sage is typically thought of of having more customization. So typically then uh, once you had uh, if you had like the Sage 50 then you could go into uh, some of the other you know integrations with it which which could include like the fixed asset tracking and, and that kind of stuff and then obviously customization for it uh, if you had specialized needs to, to customize the software then uh, the sage would typically be considered more customizable and those are going to the kind of needs that larger companies might have 
I just want to take a quick look at the Sage 50 first, and then we're going to go into the Sage Business Cloud accounting information. So if we go into the Sage 50, this is the one that's going to have desktop and uh, have online kind of functionality to it as well, or be able to use the software online as well. And if you go into this item, they have the uh, pro accounting, the premium, and uh, the quantum accounting down here. I'll just be comparing the pro accounting and the accounting premium. And you'll note that it's uh, 50 and uh, 78 here. And if we scroll on down to what is included, the account for all revenue, manage uh, expenses, pay bills, uh, effortless invoicing uh, of customers, reconcile financial with your bank, secure remote access for employees and accountants. So that remote access is the attempt to make kind of like a desktop and you know the online types of, of functionality within the software effective uh, inventory tracking and management so it does have have of course the inventory tracking this is what i think is one of the main functions here uh with with the the 50 the sage 50 which is smart integration with microsoft 3 360 and so if you're using microsoft 360 and you need that integration process uh, then, then this could be something that, that would be a step up or it could be a part of that integration uh, that might be making the Sage worthwhile, the Sage 50 worthwhile. Enhances the remote cap capabilities of Sage um, 50 Cloud. Preview customer account information within Microsoft Outlook. Submit digital receipts for approval from uh, smartphone. Access your reports, financials, and dashboards from Sage Dashboards Mobile and then uh, back up your data to the Microsoft Cloud and OneDrive. So if you have those functionalities, Microsoft 365, and you're thinking about kind of integrating those, those items with your accounting software, then that's one thing to consider with regards to a Sage 50. And again, most of the time when that would be the case, uh, it might be a larger types of organizations that need that, that uh, kind of integrations. And then we have the, the job costing, that's gonna be over here in the what do they call it the premium version over here and then the trace transactions and track uh, down errors with audit and advanced budgeting tools so and then there's more customization and whatnot as you grow from stage 50 if you wanted to have more customization there we're going to be taking a look at the cloud accounting so this isn't going to be the, the desktop and cloud uh, item this is just the cloud so this is kind of similar to if you're thinking about uh, quickbooks has the desktop version and then uh, the online version. So this is going to be basically Sage's, uh, in essence, online type of version. And if we scroll back down and we just take a look at the pricing down here, we have the accounting start, which is only $10. And then we have uh, what well, they call it Sage Business Cloud Accounting to start, which is $10 a month and Sage Business Cloud Accounting, which is $25 a month. So that's comparable. Uh, the 25, I think, is is lower than uh, then the other two large softwares, at least for the for the mid um, the mid section. In other words, the recommended uh, for QuickBooks here at this point in time is, I believe, thirty five uh, is the thirty five. Although they have the essentials for twenty, the major difference being inventory. So inventory is one of those kind of differences uh, with the with Intuit. So here, I, I don't think the $10 one, I, I don't think will work for most people because it does have the your connection to the banks. You can track everything, but you don't have the reports here. So so act on real-time reports isn't uh, included. And that's that includes the profit and loss and the balance sheet, uh, which are kind of important. Those are kind of important. So I think you kind of need then, you're probably going to need, if you want the software to make your financial statements help you out with taxes and whatnot, the 25 a month. Now, the 25 a month does include, though, the inventory. So if you want probably you know the to track actual physical inventory if you need advanced inventory needs then then you may uh need need something else like the the uh sage 50 but it does have that inventory tracking that that may be comparable to the inventory tracking in the uh quickbooks online at uh, the 25 dollar price here so that's just a quick comparison it, it also has this uh free trial which is great for us and i i highly recommend taking a look at it because again just getting a, get a familiar with sage kind of products and saying hey you know i know about sage i've been i've worked with sage uh you know i've practiced you know some practice problems with them can carry weight uh on something like a resume or an interview type of process process so it's it's useful to get familiar with the suite of products uh for sage and and get some familiarity working with them as well so the, the free trial is a is a great tool to to me it's to uh 
to do that, to get started and work through some of it. So we'll work through some practice problems with it and check it out. Let's sign up now. We're gonna go to the Start Your Accounting Free Trial. We got the name, name, and address. All right, seems pretty basic, I can do that. Next we'll have the password. Then the security check, am I a robot? I'm gonna check that off, which I'm assuming. Then we're gonna put the business name. This is gonna be kind of like the minimal information we'll need that they need in order to start us off with the account. Our business name, if you're following along with the practice problem, is gonna be called Get uh, Great Guitars. Get Great Guitars. I'm gonna save and continue with that. The address for our practice problem is going to be this uh, 605 Mountain Drive, Beverly Hills, California, 90210. Uh, that's actually a home for sale for $69, $70 million at this time if you're in the market. I'm going to put the phone number at the 555-555-5555 and then we'll save and continue there. And then, and uh, do you charge sales tax? And we're going to have sales tax. I'm going to say yes. We want to be setting up the sales tax. And note that it's picking up the sales tax based on the location. So if you're following along with the practice problem, you'd like to put the same address in here so it can pick up, you know, that sales tax. So that's nice that the software can do that. It can actually help you to, to pick up the sales tax by lo location. And so I'm going to say all done. So all done. So there I've said it all done. And now we have now we're up and running. So here's our information. Here's going to be our dashboard. We're on uh, the summary page and we're ready to move forward. So that's gonna be it for now. Let's get out of here.